You're watching the 2023 SCAC Fall Media Days, and today we're taking a dive into the Southwestern University Women's Soccer Program. The Pirates will be led as they head into the season once again under the guidance of head coach Linda Hamilton, along with leadership from junior forward Sam Hazen. Coach Sam, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Russell. Coach, we're heading into your ninth year here at Southwestern. And I, I'm just interested, as a head coach, as you get prepared for, for another preseason, what, what is that process like for you? I, I, we talking before coming on. It's just every year is unique, and you go through it with your team, and you, and you work, and you scrap, and you claw, and you try to you know, battle all the way to the top of the mountain. And then every year, it, it's, a, it's a turn the page and fresh and new. How do you process that as a coach? What's the key for you in terms of kind of turning that page and getting ready for a new season? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously we can get into routines, but you recognize what this is as you come in. I mean, each year you have a team, um, but in truth, every year it is a brand new team to a degree. Now you have continuity with returners, but again, they are, it is a fluid movement. Um, and I guess, you know, for me, none of that is a surprise. So you just really work. I think the harder part is that, Sometimes you don't get to linger and, um, you know, and some fun things because when one season closes, you know, you've got to start preparing from that point on for the next season. Um, and so it always feels sometimes that you don't get the proper sort of send off to the seniors to really let them know. My hope is that they, they've enjoyed their time so that they can come back and, and we can, um, celebrate as we continue to, and, you know, hopefully their teammates continue their legacy. But um, I think for me, it's just, it's always an excitement though, a new year. And, you know, it, you do have new players coming in, but it's a new team because a lot of your returners make different kinds of changes over the summer or do things differently or evolve. Or I find that sometimes as they evolve from year to year and they sort of mature and understand things better, they're able to, prepare each time better so um you know in this case our 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 team really came back prepared this season when we ran the fitness test which is really meant just to see where they are so you don't kill them in preseason if they're not where you want them to be you know the team had a really good uh success rate and and did the best we've done as a collective team so those kinds of things are really exciting you just never know what you're going to get because honestly you're not with them so my players know I feel like I don't like to gamble at all, which is the worst part for me over summer because I, I plead with them a lot. We we try to encourage them and give them messages to remind them that what they do this summer will directly affect how good they want to be in the fall. And um, they're a really good group. They want to they want to compete. So they recognize that those two go together and and they're going to keep working to do the right things. Sam, for you coming into to your junior season, you know, you hear the excitement from coach and kind of that turning of a new page. And, you know, you've been a big part of this program from day one, but, you know, now as an upperclassman, does it feel a little bit different coming into this preseason? Do you see your role at all shifting within this group? And just kind of take me through your mindset and excitement heading into this 2023 year. Yeah, so um, obviously it's now upperclassman season, so it's been really exciting and fun, and it has definitely been a different mindset coming into this season, um, especially being elected captain by my teammates. That put me in a role to lead my team, hopefully to the su success that we're hoping to get to this year. So being able to see the captains in front of me lead as a sophomore and as a freshman, and the su success we had my freshman year and the kind of let down of a season we had last year and seeing like where we fell short and where we succeeded and being able to see that and come in and kind of form our team in the way that we're hoping to pick up on the shortcomings we had and to capitalize on our successes from past years. So it's been exciting. Coach, we've talked in the past about the, the unique part of the season that is preseason and and trying to build and find chemistry with, you know, as you say yourself, you know, a new team each and every year. You brought in another really solid class of first years this year. I think nine new faces come into this program and, and join a core of, of a lot of returning talent within this team. How do you as a coach and as a coaching staff, 
work to, to find that chemistry early on in the season? What part of preseason can you use to, to really help set that foundation to set this group up to, to hit the ground running come September? Yeah, I mean, there's team chemistry both on and off the field. And I guess the first thing is I'm very direct with my team on that, what I want, <laughs> whether they choose to enact it. But what I want is a team that gets along really well and treats each other respectfully on and off the field. I just think that translates, one, to being good human beings, but also on that. You know, the, the real trick is, though, to let them know that it's important to you, but also to empower them. They are. The truth of the matter is they know it. They control really what the team chemistry is about. Coach, uh, my coaching staff and I, we try to do things that can help promote it. Um, throw a pool party in preseason or, you know, um, I, there's a snack closet that I stock for them. And sometimes I might stock it with things that are healthier for them. And sometimes there might be some special treats that no nutritionist should ever know about. But <laughs> I think, you know, in the end, what I love about soccer is that it's a player's game. It's a player sport. So chemistry is 100 uh, percent one piece of a successful puzzle, just like uh, chemistry between players. You might have five talented midfielders, but two or three might play better together. And it's that's where for me, the the tweaking of the pieces, seeing what the rhythm is, who are the players that kind of just find that natural rhythm. Um, luckily for me, my team, the, those as they go into their veteran years, they've heard the same kinds of things, but they also experience things. Each year is a little bit different. And you can't, no matter what you do, even teams that repeat or three-peat or do that, their year is always a little different. And I think, you know, as as teams evolve, players start to recognize what really helps their team be successful and allow them to enjoy the experience. Typically it's players of experience and veterans that have gone through a little of both. And so they recognize and they lead by example. Once you have that, then for me, it's just about maintaining a consistency about what I want, what I want for them, what I hope they can find and, and continue to remind them of their empowerment of how they choose to change and act on things and how they choose to treat each other. And they're adults. That's a nice thing. They, they really embrace it. And I think they recognize it's a so much better experience. You know, the, the one thing is it's not just about wins and losses. I think, you know, that's where that team chemistry changes things. It's going to be about our journey the whole way, whether it ends exactly where we want. I think everybody now wants to be on this place where we're excited to see where we can take it. And I think team chemistry comes from great leadership and um, us just hopefully showing a little light to show them the way and, and them wanting to, to make the most of it. Sam, from a soccer standpoint, you know, really since day one, the arrow has very much been pointing up for you, starting all 37 matches in your career, 15 goals, 16 assists, 46 points through these first two years, two-time All-SCAC performer. How do you continue to, to keep pushing uh, the envelope when it comes to, to your play on the field as a soccer player? What have you continued to work on, continue to try to grow in your game over the course uh, of the offseason through the summer heading into to your junior year? Yeah, so something that definitely keeps me working hard is my team. So I know that um, it's like on me to like get those goals and I hope to inspire the girls coming in to work hard and like achieve the same goals as well. Um, something I've been working on is definitely my 1v1s and then opening up, seeing space, checking my shoulder, just making the little things into a habit. Um, I actually stayed in Georgetown over the summer and a couple of my teammates did as well. So we'd go out and shoot over the summer, do 1v1s, work on drills, work on free kicks and all that stuff, hopefully, and just getting ready, kind of like refining our love for the game. Cause you know, sometimes that gets lost in the, in the training process. So that's something that we're all definitely looking forward to um, this year is finding the love and the fun. And it's definitely come through in this preseason. So it'll be exciting. Coach, uh one of the things that's been really remarkable to me over the last, uh, you know, half a decade is the consistency that you've been able to, to put forth with this group. You know, the last four full seasons, uh, 51 wins with this team, SCAC tournament championship finals, NCAA tournament appearance and SCAC tournament championship. What is it that you have found consistent that has been 
key to the success? What is it that fans, supporters of this program can really count on that you feel has been a big contributing factor to the su success this group has had on the field day in and day out? Well, I think, you know, I think for us, uh, one of the things, and it, it is the the defender in me, um, we we stress a lot. I think, I, I hope it goes along that uh, it's hard to score goals against this. And maybe people think our games are boring from one end when we don't give up a lot of goals. That's, that's the hope on that. But, you know, I want us to play exciting soccer. I want uh, it to be fun. I want the joy from my players to sort of show through in the way they play. Um, and you know, don't, you know, winning isn't always fun. There's hard stuff that goes with winning. And if that, if people don't understand that, that's why not everybody wins all the time because it's hard to, to do that. So for me, I think if there's credit to be given, it's between myself and, and Felix, because we've found the right players as we go through this recruiting process that want to be challenged both in the classroom and help create a program that, um, has shown some promise to be uh, prominent and consistent, but they get a real hand in creating a legacy of what Southwestern women's soccer is. And and players like Sam have changed where we are. A few uh, Sam Davis before her, it's a run of Sams, but you know, and Mary Cardonis and Mallory Harkins sort of helped start it. And then because of those players, I'm able to lure a player. Uh, the current group of talented players um, and Southwestern has a lot to offer these, you know, I, I will say, I, I want to, I don't want to ignore, they're really brilliant in the classroom. And I, I do think that's one of the main pieces um, for us that helps us be successful. Um, they're super competitive on the field, but then they, they're, they're sort of that way translatable across the board in the classroom. And I think those are the, we're finding those kids where this is the right fit on both sides. And I, I think I find kids where the challenge is to do something that this program's never done. And what a cool thing for you to work towards the knowing that that's something that they can accomplish, but it's not going to be easy. And so for, to watch them kind of enjoy the process of, you know, not to be funny, but you've been with us since 2015, Sam, Hazen called a nine, five and six season unsuccessful. Do you remember what we were in 2015? Hell, I, think, I don't like to talk about the dark year of 2017, but you remember that, right? Yeah. I think what's cool is it's, not, I, I'm, that's not an insult. That's just a, a t key to where we think our standards should be now mm -hmm. and where people that have come a few years before her and, what she's helping establish that we really want to keep trying to be better and better. And that um, <laughs> finding players where that's a natural instinct is fun because the competitor in me does nothing but poke the bear in them to really see what they can do. And, and I think it's fun to watch them embrace the process. And honestly, I like that we're, we're still having to climb. We've made some, we've made it there occasionally, but we're not there consistently. And now that challenge to get that consistent performance so that we're there year after year after year. Um, I think that's fun to watch my team continue to evolve. And as our talent gets better, our work rate gets better and everything keeps improving. And, it, and it's fun to, to watch them grow over the course of their time. And Sam, finally wrapping things up with you, as you listen to Coach talk about the standard being raised and you being a part of, of a group and a core of players that continue to push that standard higher and higher, when you've had conversations with your teammates in preseason coming into this year about some of the goals and things that this group wants to accomplish, what have those conversations looked like and what will be key for this group to, to go out and, and, and making those dreams reality you know, heading into this year? Yeah, so one of the first things that kind of brings both of your questions together is we really want our team to be a team this year. That was something we felt we were lacking last year. Um, it just felt like you couldn't rely on the people around you, and that was something we were missing. And that's first and foremost, like we want our team to be a family, and we want our players to put the team before self, and that's something we we're really, really aiming to do this year. 
Um, and hopefully that'll help lead us to a ring season, just like my freshman year. So we're hoping to get back there, but all in all, we're hoping just to build a good um, base to keep climbing on. Um, we are losing only just two or three seniors. So it'll be good. This will be a good stepping stone year for sure to hopefully set us up for even more success. Hopefully my senior year, if we have a few shortcomings this year, but we definitely want to build um, our team camaraderie first and foremost. Southwestern University Pirates women's soccer program. Again, the Pirates heading into the season of the guy at the head coach, Linda Hamilton, along with captain junior forward, Sam Hazen. The Pirates open up the season when they take on Virginia Wesley in September 1st. Coach Sam, thanks so much for your time today and best of luck as you head into the year. Thank, Thank you very you. much.